Hello everyone, it's Sharon here. Today I am on Holland America's Volendam, and this is our second Holland America cruise, and now that we've gone on to, I feel like I can share a few tips with you and feel confident that um, they are legitimate tips. So we have been on several other cruise lines over the course of the years, um, several cruises, and these are kind of things that are a little more specific to Holland America. So let's get started. All right, number one. This is something that I have only experienced on Holland America, and it's if you've cruised before, you may know what I'm talking about a little bit. If not, follow along, and I will um, try to explain it to you. So when you are on a ship, the captain, the cruise director, you know, they make announcements overhead for you to hear. If you're in your cabin, you really can't hear them without opening your door. If you have, you know, and kind of getting out into the hallway and listening to see what the announcement is and then you miss half of it or you're in your pajamas or maybe you're not even dressed yet you're in the bathroom or such and you know you're trying to run out and hear what the announcement is well this is something that i've noticed holland america does is they have um a channel their channel their cam channel their ship cam channel and they have some of them have the ships have one some of them have two of them an aft and a forward facing camera and it's either going to be one or the other of those maybe both but if you put that channel on your TV when you're not watching something else and just there's just music kind of playing in the background on that channel, when an announcement comes on the overhead speaker, you will hear it then on the TV. It will pipe into the TV and you will hear it um, on that channel. So you will never miss an announcement if you are in your cabin. So this is something kind of specific, I think, to Holland America, as far as I know, at least from the other mainstream um, cruise lines that we've been on before. And I think it's pretty cool. All right, number two, let's talk a little bit about room service. Back in the day, room service was complimentary on just about every cruise line, right? And these days, they're gonna charge you one way or another, whether it's uh, per item that you order or a delivery fee. With the exception of most cruise lines do offer uh, continental breakfast and coffee and delivery and things like that until approximately 10 a.m. But one cool feature about Holland America is room service is complimentary 24 hours a day. That's right. You can order food 24 hours a day at um, really no additional charge. Now they do have a few items that have an upcharge on their menu. I will say that some of the things that are maybe just a little pricier type food items, but you can eat very well 24 hours a day for no additional charge with Holland America. And I love that. Number three, if you're an avid gambler and you just love to hang out in the casino when you're on a cruise, Holland America may not be the cruise line for you. We have experienced the casinos on a couple different ships and both have been um, very kind of lacking in the casino. There's not very many people playing in the casino for one thing, and there's not many crew members working in the casino. We have never seen all the tables open at once. Usually there's just a, a couple tables open and on a sea day in the afternoon when most casinos on most major cruise lines are really popping and people are out there and the casino is full, they're not full on Holland America. It's just very odd to, <laughs> to us. This has been kind of a little bit of an odd experience in the casino, but uh, it just probably isn't the best cruise line if you like to gamble might get a little frustrated. Number four, I would suggest if you're cruising on Holland America to bring a reusable water bottle. You can pre-purchase some water or just buy them individually. And if you have the have it all drink package that some people um, book with, you know, it is included in that. Although it also is that it's included in your 15 drinks that you get with that. And I don't know about you, but I don't wanna use my 15 drinks that I can get alcoholic drinks with um, to purchase water. So that's one thing. Now, if you do upgrade to the premium package, it does include all your water, but a lot of times people don't wanna pay that extra just to have um, unlimited water. So I would suggest to use your 15 drinks with the drink package for your alcoholic drinks, bring a reusable water bottle for your water and fill it up in the buffet area at the fountain. And you know, it's perfectly good water, it's filtered and you will save yourself some money and you'll be much happier. Number five, this one might be a little more for the ladies, but I will say leave your hair dryers and makeup mirrors at home because they do have them on the ship, both of them. Um, and they're not the 
ones that you find on some cruise lines where they're attached inside the drawer and you can hardly move to dry your hair. They are ones that plug directly into the plug on the wall, so they're, they have a longer cord and you can kind of move around a bit. And the makeup mirror, look at this, in the drawer as well, on all of their um, cabins, they have a makeup mirror. And it's a pretty nice one too, look at that. So just leave a couple of those things at home, save that room in your luggage for something else, or maybe some souvenirs to bring home. All in America has you covered. Number six, you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day in the main dining room on Holland America. That's right. I know a lot of cruise lines offer breakfast in there several, some days, some days a brunch. Of course, they always offer dinner, but they don't always offer lunch. Well, Holland America, you can eat all three meals in there if you want. And one thing I really liked is the um, breakfast time was a little bit later. So it started a little later and it ended a little later. So if you slept in, till maybe eight o'clock or so, you didn't miss the main dining room and for breakfast. I know on other cruise lines, we've gone to the main dining room at 8, 8.30 and we're like, oops, it's closed. So that was pretty cool. We can sleep in a little bit and still hit the main dining room. And the food is great. It's nice and hot. They serve you and you can just relax and feel pampered. So I highly suggest you eat as many meals as you can in the main dining room. Number seven. Here's a few more things that you can maybe leave behind at home and save some of that packing room. And that's a few of the toiletries for the bathroom. We have noticed that on we, our last Holland America cruise, we were in a Vista suite and on a newer ship. And now we're on an older ship in an interior. And we have the same experience. They offer Elvis brand shampoo and conditioner and body wash, all three separate in the shower as well as liquid hand soap and lotion by the counter, by the sink. Um, most cruise lines only give you like a body wash, combination shampoo in the shower. I've never seen con separate conditioner in the shower. And I never really see the liquid hand soap and certainly not lotion by the sink. I've never seen any of that um, on other cruise lines. So it's really cool that they offer all those, a little high, kind of a high-end product and can save you on some of your packing room for your toiletries as well. And number eight, don't be surprised if you walk into the buffet and you notice that they are serving you. Holland America does offer a full service buffet um, and this is nothing new. This is nothing from the pandemic. They have offered a full service buffet before the pandemic. It's just a little more of an upscale thing that they've always done. Everything is served to you. There are a couple items you know, that they will have out that you might be able to get yourself some, maybe some condiments and things. But for the most part, everything is served to you. And don't feel bad if you want a little extra, just ask for it. They're glad to give you extra. They're very friendly. And just enjoy being served. Let them do all the work. Number nine, let's talk a little bit about entertainment, specifically about the shows in the theater in the evening. Now, Hall in America offers shows that I feel are a little more, I want to call them basic, kind of like shows that I'm used to seeing back when we first started cruising more singing and dancing. You're not going to see the newer shows you see on the newer ships now where there's drones and, and theatrical uh, things, Broadway shows, people diving into water, trapeze artists and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be a little more basic. Like I said, you're going to see singing, dancing, but the quality is great. It's there. So everyone has been very talented we've seen on the ships and I have no complaints. Some of the best dancing shows we've actually seen in a long time. Number 10, this is one of my favorites and that is do not forget to try the cookies on Holland America. That's right. I said the cookies. Uh, they have the best cookies at sea I have ever had. And, um, I even, they're so good that I even bring a little bowl back to my uh, cabin in the evening. And I'm not the only one. I've seen other people carrying these cookies in little bowls into the elevator and doing the same thing. So they're all good. They have chocolate chip. They have a macadamia and white chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin. And for some reason, these oatmeal raisin cookies seem to be the hot ticket here. Everyone talks about them and they are delicious. So make sure you try the cookies when you're on Holland America. And to go along with number 10, can't forget one cool feature that a lot of cruise lines stop doing that, that Holland America continues to do, and that is leave you chocolates on your pillow at night. 
I am so impressed with that. I love that. That's one thing I really miss on some of the other cruise lines. And I know it's a silly little thing and doesn't mean a lot to some, but it's just, just a little kind of pampered feature that, that I miss. So there you go. Chocolate's on your pillow, guys. So there you go. Those are 10 things you need to know before you go on your next Holland America cruise. Hope these were helpful and you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up on your way out. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. And we have a lot more content coming your way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.